Hello, hello, hello. It's Stephanie here and welcome to episode 108 of the Rent to Rent Success podcast. Today, I'm joined by Helen Turner. Helen is co-founder of Coho, the exciting new HMO management software company. She's obsessed with learning every landlord's growth pains, delivering modern tools to help systemize and make HMO management easy. Coho is the fastest growing all-in-one software for HMO management and rent-to-rent landlords love the pay-as-you-grow pricing. I just love the excitement that has been surrounding Coho and everything new it brings to the table. Now, Helen Turner, welcome to the Rent-to-Rent Success podcast. Thank you so much for having me, Stephanie. It's brilliant to have you on the show because, as I was saying earlier, one of the main things that stops people from getting started in HMO management is is the management. They know that the cash flow can be sometimes as much as 10 times or more higher than the single let cash flow, but the management of the properties is more. However, systems like Coho can really make it easy. And I was also saying that we had our Ask the Angels episode 35. It was all about, should I have a WhatsApp group for my HMO tenants to help with the property management? And we had so much feedback to that, so many messages. And um, we did mention Coho in that episode. And so it's lovely that you're here with us today. So I'd love to know a bit about your background, Helen. How have you come to be co-founder of Coho? Yeah, okay. Well, um, my background has always been commercials and uh, marketing. And through doing some consultancy, um, I met um, Van Vogstad, who is the uh, original founder of Coho. And he told me about what he was building um, to supply for landlords and helping them systemize their operations. Um, And uh, he explained to me that it was very niche and spoke uh, specifically focused on HMO, the HMO market. I just absolutely fell in love with him and the team um, and uh, what they were working on. I really think that there is great potential to, um, you know, make a difference in this market. So, um, yeah, uh, he then invited me to become co-founder and uh, obviously to complement the existing school set within uh, the founding team. So that's that's me. Yeah, that's my story. Brilliant. And I have seen some demos of Coho and I've just been blown away because one of the things about some of the bigger, older systems, like the system that we use, is it's not really intuitive to use Mm. whereas coho it looks really friendly and intuitive Mm. Mm. but I'd love to tell you what are some of the things that make coho different and that I've have so many raving fans Mm. oh that's yeah that's amazing to hear thank you so um you know at coho we have um massive ambitions okay um We aim to reshape the way that shared properties uh, are managed and found. Now we're focusing on the management side of the platform at the moment. And um, we know that, um, you know, property, people come into property, um, you know, not for the love of admin. And it's something Mm -hmm. that actually is quite often uh, neglected. So, yes, I understand if it is something that would put off people because, you know, it's all about sort of building on your assets where people um, get really excited about getting the next property, you know, filling the room with tenants and and so forth. But, um, you know, as you fill, uh, particularly in HMOs, you know, as you fill those rooms, there's much more... um, Uh, maintenance there's much more um, administration that you have to do so with coho um, you know what we recognize that it's not just about the property it's really about management of people and what we offer is a single platform where you can um, organize your properties as well as your tenants all in one place and that I think in itself gives us a a huge potential um, to be able to um, you know, in terms of systemizing, automate a lot of the tasks for you, or at least put them into logical places for you to be able to manage and find. Yes, and that that's so, it's so intuitive. What I love is that, just walk us through, can you sort of organize the viewings on there? Is that part of it? Or does it start when the tenant actually comes on board? Yes, so um, 
Coho uh, starts right at the beginning with Tenant Find, actually, and we have a facil facility where you are able to post directly from Coho um, onto Spare Room, for example, and Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, you're able to set your renewals to automatically happen, um, whether that is every couple of hours or every 24 hours, as you wish. So that hopefully saves a, a lot of manual tasks for you. But that then pulls in leads. So any prospective tenants that um, are engaging with your advert get pulls it pulled into Coho as leads. And from there, it's very easy for, to invite them into Coho to start communication um, with that prospective tenant. Um, at that point, you can um, invite them into a viewing, you can arrange a viewing, start communicating on that. Um, and then, you know, of course, if that viewing is successful and uh, they're ready to um, reserve the room, we have a, a fantastic, uh, very comprehensive onboarding process within Coho um, that allows the uh, tenant to engage with you um, and for you to set certain things like uh, the application questionnaire that you might need to collect information from the tenant in terms of, um, you know, uh, credit checking for their tenancy referencing. Um, it's a full workflow, which means that, um, you know, at each point when um, you've done something and the tenant is expected to cop in and do something, then they get notifications. Once they've done their bit, you get your notifications and you move along certain stages. So it deals with moving monies. It deals with um, uh, e-signing. So in terms of your AST, when you upload that, um, everything is packaged up um, into an envelope. Um, and we've designed our own e-signing um, pad. Um, and uh, there's obviously the compliance stuff as well. You know, when you're setting up the property to begin with, even before tenant find, you know, all of those compliance and safety certificates are all saved onto that property. Um, and it's recognized that when you've got a new tenant that is about to onboard, then um, they get pulled into the dashboard for the tenant and they have to physically acknowledge each document uh, before they can sign the AST. So it is a fully operating um, workflow to help you, um, you know, manage that process really easily. And it's a great experience for, well, first impression really for the tenant. And I have to say, it sounds like a great experience for the landlord as well, because so many people are scared when I say, you know, have a systemized process for onboarding mm. or anything like that. Now with Coho, you have that set out for you. There's mm. a template and you can identify which parts of it you want to implement within your system. So it just makes it so much easier having it set out for you for an HMO business mm. specifically. So I think it's absolutely uh, phenomenal that you have all that as part of it and that people can just plug into it basically. Sure, sure, sure. And when you mention about, um, you know, the challenges really, um, you know, going back to why you need to systemize, um, I think a lot of people, um, perhaps it sounds really, um, obvious, but perhaps they don't truly understand um, the difference between growth and scale. You know, um, a lot of us kind of um, get stuck into a small business mentality and we think about growth all the time, but actually the true, you know, um, growth, you need to be scaling your operations. And for that, um, you know, obviously building your assets and then making sure that you've got a, a place for when you are at a certain point in your growth where you have to start inviting, um, you know, growing your team and inviting other people to come and help you, um, you know, so that you can delegate. That's really important, I think. Um, and if you have a system in one place, um, you know, you don't have to kind of start from scratch and introduce or building things, even from your first property, you know, some people come to me and they say, oh, I've only got one property. I'll come back to you, you know, when I've got a few more. And I just think, well, why build a mini system when you can get started on something that, you know, you can start as you mean to go on, really? Absolutely. I believe in starting with the system from day one, business one, property one. We actually got the very first properties we got. It was two properties at one time. But as soon as um, we got those two, we also got the... A property management system I think it's it's a no-brainer why would you be dealing with an excel spreadsheet and emails when you can have everything as you said in one place and it's even prompting you 
as what to do as to what to do so if you're totally a beginner if it's your first ever hmo or first ever buy to let property yeah. whether it's rent to rent or whether it's owned then this is really going to guide you through the process and i know from um i've seen that some of the people who've actually been on the show before, such as Dan Jackson, I noticed, was raving and was a super fan for <laughs> Coho. And he was reluctant, he says, to change over initially oh. because of the thought, oh, I don't want to have to do all of that. He was already on a different software, oh. you know, tra transferring from one software to another. And the thought of taking all of those property and hundreds of tenants and yeah. moving them over yeah yeah sure and um you know with you know you talked about different types of models and dan jackson uh, dan jackson has a slightly different model but you know for rent to rent in particular because we recognize uh, that the growth plan has to be fast right by the nature of what you do and uh, so we you know the pricing obviously is made um to not put anybody off from starting as they mean to go on and um, we have the uh page of grow um, pricing which is just one pound plus fat per unit and a unit being a tenant in a room um so you know really if you've just got five um a five bed uh first property it is just going to be that five pounds per, per month but with dan as you mentioned um <clears throat> obviously he got to the point where he has um 92 units now and uh, you can imagine like the kind of deeper you go um, the more work it starts to become, you start to procrastinate about having to transfer all of your data across, even if you have admin staff managing that or pulling their time away in order to set up on a new software like Coho. Sounds like it's, you know, it's a big problem anyway and you keep putting it off and it just becomes a bigger, bigger problem. But one of the solutions that we have at Coho is called Fast Track, and that is a service where uh, we have our own trained um, administration team that will literally uh, log into your existing software or take your information from your Excel spreadsheet. So it's not too late, that's what I'm saying. Start as you mean to go on, but if you are at the point where you know, you've know you got a lot of units, we can still help you. And that service itself is just two pounds plus that per unit, one off. And you know, I mean, that that is just the cost of, you know, um, not even comparable to uh, hiring a member of staff to, to do that for you. But, you know, we just want to help you get productive as quickly as possible. Really, really, you're doing it as a loss, really, because you can't employ anybody. Nobody could employ anybody at that rate to do it who's already skilled and trained in both, you know, the old software and the new software. Exactly. So um, it's a phenomenal service. I thought that when I heard about that, I thought, oh, wow. That's brilliant because that is one of the things that would put people off because it's not only the number of tenants you've got, it's yeah. also the number of years that you've been in operation because you actually do need to keep the old files for old tenants who've come and gone mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. for a certain period of time so that mm -hmm. you can go back if anybody should come back to, you know, not well challenge anything. Yeah, in and the you future. know that exercise itself, we find um, that with other systems you know they've not been able to keep everything up to date so it's in itself it adds value by um you know us being able to find those um problems and give them the chance to resurrect them um you know obviously for compliance reasons um you you want to make sure that everything is up to date and things do get lost if if you don't have the right system and that's the thing when you get so big it can be easy to misplace things Mm. And what are the what's the biggest mistake you see um, business owners making, either HMO or or rent to rent? Um, I think it is um, definitely to do with um, putting off systemizing. Um, mm. I think it is definitely underestimating the value of um, you know getting your operations scalable um, because it just slows you down I think it can stunt your growth you know um, before you know it you can be backtracking catching up with things um, so I think you know um, also it's like I said it's the experience with your customers if you've got a place to show them and I know you know quite large operations who have said they've won um, over landlords by showing them um, coho and what they have on their system and how they organize the um you know the tenants for them um because that gives them confidence 
you know, particularly along, you know, all of the compliance side of things, because we um, allow you to set up notifications for when and reminders for when things need to be renewed. And of course, across a large portfolio, it can get rather messy as well. So, yeah. Yes, absolutely. I think it would be impressive to landlords because that would be one of the things that they would worry about, that you may not be compliant. And I think to bring this to light, Helen, it would be great to hear from you a case study of somebody who's using Co. Yeah. Oh, OK. Well, yeah, funnily enough, this morning, um, because Coho has this feature, and this is obviously something that um, we are offering um, rent to rent success as well um, on the partnership side of things with Coho. We have a new feature, which is um, which is a chance to allow our partners and even some of our customers to um, create a profile and uh, have them showcased on Coho. So I was talking to a, a nice lady called Sophie Foote who uh, specializes in um, high-end rent-to-rent um, HMO um, properties in um, Southampton. And uh, I would say probably about a couple of months ago, um, she got in touch with me. She saw some of my Facebook posts, um, got in touch with me. She had um, 12 units, um, but I knew that she was, you know, super super ambitious with her growth plans um she had just started uh with arthur and um somehow i managed to persuade her to take a look at coho um so you know one of the things about coho is that it is set out to be very logical in the way that you do things there is a place for everything and for every task and for every workflow so she fell in love with it um but you know uh with my sort of chat I had an interview with her this morning um, today and she um, told me about how much it's really allowed her to excel her plans actually um, because she's able to complete onboarding so quickly one of the features that she values the most um, she's been able to just I mean she her words were bang 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 <laughs> you know just get those tenants in there get them compliance um, you know um, abled and then get them signed up and moved in very quickly and then she's on to the next one you know so she's got I mean it's it's ridiculous she's got she's working on some seven bedroom HMO at the moment but uh, she's doing refurbs as well um, but um, yeah she's got massive growth plans I would say that in the short amount of time that I've um, known her just a few months um, really she's kind of yeah she's probably brought on about eight properties in that time Wow, that is yeah. so um, so impressive. Wow. And it's so important to talk about the impact of one thing. So the impact of having a software mm. that allows you to go bang, 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 bang mm. on your business growth. And people don't always equate the two. So I just want to point people to, if you go to rents to rent success.com slash coho, C-O-H-O, you'll be able to see what we're just about to talk about, which is how to get started. Um, and there are some special offers on as well, aren't there? Uh, so I'd yeah, love it if you could absolutely. tell us about those, Helen. Yeah, so many people, uh, when they reach out to me, they say, Helen, can you do me a demo? <laughs> and I say, no, I don't want to do a demo. Um, but no, I will. Um, however, uh, we thought about, this is again, it's, it's thinking ahead, isn't it? We know that we want to be a big business and we have to be able to scale our own business, right? If I'm spending an hour demoing to everybody and then leaving them to make their decisions, that's not scalable for me. Um, so what we did was we built an interactive demo um, site, which is essentially, um, you know, you get the login details to uh, an existing portfolio. It's mock, obviously, um, under our um, client avatar, Gabriel, um, who is a very handsome bloke. Um, because I chose the picture. Um, but um, he has set up three properties in there. They're all HMOs. They've all got tenants in there. So lovely pictures to look at. So you can imagine what your portfolio could look like. But because it's interactive, you can actually delve into some of his existing um, onboarding processes, some of his maintenance um, workflows that he's got open. You can create your own. You can message tenants. You can jump into tenant view. So it's really interactive. And that is a way that I would recommend for you 
as a foot as a start to um, explore coho with um, so obviously um, I believe that uh, Stephanie will be sharing the link uh, so that you can access that and then um, after that you know um, we will be watching you <laughs> we'll just make sure that you're okay and that you are happy with everything that you're seeing if you're not then um, we will be in touch and just offer that holding hand um, and we'll ask we'll give you the opportunity to ask us uh, questions because there are certain things that you will um, be um you know wanting to understand a bit more in more detail and at that point you know we're happy to jump online and share a screen and you know show you everything in detail that you want so that i would say that that the interactive demo is the first step and then um we you mentioned some special offers yes of course so i i talked about the pay as you grow which is obviously the most popular one for anyone's um, getting started and actually um, fast track as well, which I've mentioned, but- um, Remind us the prices, remind us the prices, Helen. Yeah. So pay as you grow, remind us how much that One is. One pound um, plus fat per unit. And a unit is really a tenant in a room. Okay, um, just in case there is any confusion, it's obviously we focus on HMO. We went out to solve the problem for HMO first because it's the most complex and there is a massive gap in the market with existing, you know, against existing um, software. Um, but, you know, if you have a mixed portfolio, if you've got single lets, it's no problem at all. You can do that um, on Coho at just one pound per house, actually. Um, so don't let that stop you. Fast track is two pounds as a one-off uh, fee per um, unit. So um, yeah, if you've got um, 20, I would say, yeah, around 20, 25 is when people start being interested in um, in fast track. So, you know, that's 40 pounds plus fat as a one-off fee, which is absolutely nothing. Um, then uh, this week I have been um, in touch with all of our existing customers and I would say that nobody has turned me down on this offer and that is um, changing from um, monthly subscri subscription to an annual subscription. Um, if you want to do that, you pay annually for your number of units um, and you get a 20% discount for that. So um, yeah, you know, if you're on Coho anyway and you're paying monthly, it's a no-brainer. And then finally, um, what I'm really excited uh, to announce as well, um, if you're listening to this in the month of December, we're still in 2021, um, we are giving away um, your December units uh, subscription for free, um, and that's to any new users that come on to Coho. That is brilliant. I love it all. I really love the idea that somebody who's just got their first property can join and say the average is a five bed HMO. It's only five pound per month plus fat, which to me is totally worth it. For, for the year, it's 60 quid plus VAT with the knowledge that everything is taken care of. Mm. For me, the peace of mind is the biggest win and I would definitely pay 60 pounds a year it's not having to set up your own systems that's the main thing like we worked it out for you and we've not just made it up you know we've worked with a lot of very experienced people who are um you know managing huge amounts of tenants at the moment um to help us build these yes absolutely no so that is very exciting and then on top of that it's december is free so uh it just makes it now is definitely the time to do it uh if you're listening to this podcast ah, uh, oh, as it goes live i was going to say but that may be in january actually uh helen oh okay well no problem <laughs> no problem but you can definitely contact Helen. Um, well, you can use the link rent to rent success.com slash coho. Mm -hmm. And from there, you'll be able to access the demo area. See mm -hmm. if you like it. I mean, to be honest, everybody who I've known who's who's been onto it, even the skeptics have really got excited about it. And I must admit that when I first heard from you, Helen I thought no I'm happy where I am I've got everything I need and um but now I can see that there's so much more that we could have uh with Coho 
and that you're offering and that is the, the reason why I've invited you yeah. on the podcast to share yeah. the good news that this yeah. exciting property management software is out there and whether yeah. you're just starting your first one or whether you've already got you know 20 properties hundreds of tenants and this is now a big job for you then Helen's got something to offer uh, Coho has something to offer you the one pound per unit per month or this two pound one-off fee per unit to transfer all your units your tenants your properties across from your existing software or spreadsheets mm. into into coho mm. there's loads of really amazing little nuggets as well which i you know won't have the chance to talk about but just to name um you know something is the welcome pack for example to have one place where you can upload you know all, all all of your nitty gritty bits that you need your tenants to get exposed to whether it's bin dates or you know cleaner um you know route routines and things like that like there's just so many little nuggets in in coho that um, i'm happy to talk you through but there's there is also some exciting news if you want to hear about it stephanie in terms of the finance um things I that do. are coming up i do i do right fantastic so um you know Obviously, we only launched in January, so, um, you know, we've done so well. Um, it's an astonishing, and a lot of it is down to the support of our users, um, our customers. But um, we are very, very aware that um, for particularly with large portfolios, um, there is um, a need uh, for um, some financial features. Now, um, we know one of the biggest pains is during rent collection, particularly when you have, um, you know, a lot of tenants to look after, um, keeping track of rent collection. Um, you know, we do offer that on Coho, but soon in the new year, we'll be launching um, in three steps um, our new financial features. And the first package is the ability to hook up to your bank feeds. So we'll be able to bring in your um, incoming and outgoings um, into Coho so that you can reconcile them directly um, in Coho. Um, that will enable um, a whole bunch of reporting features which will be really, really useful. And that will be, for example, um, the ability to see the performance per property or across the portfolio. So financial performance. Um, obviously, rent statements and things like that, um, if you need to be sending them across to the landlord, you know, that's all already there. But um, yeah, so the bank feed um, integration um, will be the first step of our financial uh, powerhouse. The second step is we will be um, we are actually currently building some um, really clever um um artificial intelligence technology which uh, will enable the reconciliation to become um completely automatic um so that again will save more time again uh, very impactful for larger portfolios um but finally um something that i get asked a lot about is zero integration so the third part is um, about um, being able to then connect all the financial stuff within Coho across to zero as well to make your accounting um, a lot smoother as well. Yeah, so lots of exciting developments coming up. I know Coho is absolutely the one to watch and it's really come to the top of my list in terms of what to recommend to people just Thank because you. of the user um the ease of use and the detailed way that you um, set out the progress, that the the process that it really helps people to systemize if they haven't got a clue, maybe it's their first one, or even if they've been doing it for years but feel so overwhelmed by all the tasks, yeah. it really makes things simple. As as Sophia said, it makes it bang, 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 yeah. which is what we all want. Yeah. So Helen, you have the oversight of so many uh, HMO businesses through uh, the Coho portal, and you meet so many HMO business owners. So what would you say separates the successful operators from the ones who don't achieve as much success? Mm -hmm. I think it is just that recognizing um, that, uh, you know, first of all, it is a business, you know, I think it can be very easy to think, right, I'm going to get into property. Um, I can do it part time. And I think a lot of people have to, for financial reasons, have to continue their daytime job. Um, 
and then have the confidence in order to commit more time to um, into property. But, you know, I think the most successful ones are those that have actually jumped, you know, gone all in and jumped in, um, made that commitment. Um, and uh, actually, Sophie did tell me today that um, she has an accountability um, partner, uh, which I thought was fantastic. Um, I think that's probably something that I would be recommending to people that are starting out in uh, any business, actually. But to actually be able to say, you know, what your goals are out loud um, and then commit to them and then meet up with your accountability partner to actually share your experiences and challenge each other. I think that's absolutely fantastic because it can be quite you know, lonely um, starting out in business for yourself and particularly if you are new to the sector that you're working in now. Um, so I think um, definitely what separates is is commitment to um, building a business and recognising that it is a business and it is that it isn't just, you know, something that you can do um, for, for a long term, that is, you know, on uh, on on the side. And I think you get quicker results as well that way yes absolutely when you've got your first few properties I think it is really realistic and doable to work full-time and also run your portfolio especially if you have a team if you take on people to assist you um, but as you said as you grow um, it's good to be able to be able to invest more time within your business so if you would like to find out more about coho and see these amazing demos and see exactly what the process steps are set out for example for onboarding right from the the very moment that somebody becomes a lead on spare room and coho will even let you set up your adverts within coho and then publish them to spare room and we didn't really touch on this earlier it will even allow you to refresh on spare room I thought that was even a level of detail because on spare room, renew rather is the word on spare room. Spare room gives you the facility to be able to renew um, every so often. Is it every 28 days? Um, I'm not entirely sure about that. I just know that it's a very manual process that you have to yes. take the advert off and then you have to re do the advert and, and repost it and that's uh, very time consuming apparently. If you And the reason why you want to renew it is because you want that advert fresh at the top, don't you? Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we kind of we take away that sort of pain of having to do that repetitive task, really. to keep Exactly. The All included within the system. The reason I don't know what this renewal is, is because Luke now posts our things on spare room and also does that renewal process. But obviously, uh, whoever would be doing it would now be doing it doing putting the ad on using coho and it would be doing the renewals excuse me in the background yeah you just decide awesome. how often you want to do it and it just does it in the background for you yes while so, you sleep <laughs> <clears throat> well so if you want to see all of that as i say it's at rent to rent success.com slash coho rent to rent success.com slash coho c-o-h-o and you can go across and see that we'll put the links in the show notes uh, if you're watching this on the blog, you'll be able to see it on screen now. And if, you were, if you're if you listening on the podcast, but you want to see it on the blog and you want to see Helen in all her glory, it's, yeah. it's renttorentsuccess.com slash 108 for episode 108. So renttorentsuccess.com slash 108 if you want to see the video from this episode. So Helen, we've talked today about how the magic of Coho really and how it can have such a phenomenal impact on your business and your success and your growth, as we heard from Stacey's example. Is there anything we haven't had time to touch on today that you'd love to share with us? Uh, Stephanie, I can talk all day about Coho, um, but I think we've left enough there, um, you know, to hopefully get people excited, um, motivated as well, you know. Um, to kind of yeah start if this episode is going out at the start of the new year then you know think just yeah consider it carefully um and uh start the new year with a big bang i'd say 
Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely perfect. Start the year with a bang. New Year is the perfect time to start with this. It's so affordable. So money is no object. And it's definitely worth a look. If you're curious, if you're intrigued, if you need to know if this process is any good, I do encourage you to go across to rent to rent success.com slash coho. And the other thing is that that I loved is when you do the demo and you go to the demo site, you will also then get some emails from coho asking if you need any more information if you have any questions if there's anything you want to follow up with um the support um for a software business is so so good um and that's one of the other things i love about it. it's so human now helen we must mention as well we will put the links uh, below this at rent to rent success.com slash 108 but do tell us helen you're so active on facebook and linkedin and tell us where where people can find you Okay, um, if you um, look for Helen Turner at Coho, I've actually named myself Helen Turner at Coho, that should um, take you directly there. Um, so yes, hopefully, um, we'll get to meet and you know, um, I'm, I manage my own messages. Uh, so if you want to DM, DM me and ask me any questions, um, I will get to you. Is that on LinkedIn, Helen? Uh, LinkedIn and Facebook. Right. So LinkedIn and Facebook, Helen Turner at Coho. If you are in HMOs, well worth following Helen, because as well, it's not just information about the software, but it's information about real people using the software. And that's what I find so interesting. And people I know and recognize are getting excited about Coho. And that's what really um, helped pique my interest and think, what am I missing here? I need to look into this. <laughs> so really grateful to you, Helen, for joining us on the show today and for sharing the information about Coho. Um, I really enjoyed it. What words of inspiration would you like to leave people with as we close today? Um, I think, I mean, I've got, to, you know, uh, three favourite ones, which is um, don't get stuck in small business mentality. Start as you mean to go on. And the last thing is that, you know, happy landlords make, um, yeah, ha sorry, the other way around, happy tenants make happy landlords. At the end of the day, if you invest in um, a good experience for your tenants, then, you know, it's a win-win for everybody, you know. Absolutely. And that's a great way to end this episode. That's one of the things that we like to talk about is the win, win, win. It's a win for the landlords. It's a win for the housemates. It's a win for you as the business owner. And thank you, Helen, again, for joining us today. Thank you for joining us and for watching and for listening. And remember, if you do want to check out Coho, if you are curious and you do want to get things systemized and smoothed out, rent -rent com slash Coho. But for now, we've reached the end of the episode. It's been phenomenal to be here with you again today. And remember, until next week, believe bigger, be bolder, be a game changer. See you soon. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.